1. Belfast is home to two of the tallest buildings in Ireland. Belfast's Opal Tower is the tallest building in Ireland, standing at 85 meters with 27 floors. While the Hastings Grand Central Hotel is the second tallest building, has 23 floors and a height of 80 meters, making the luxurious observatory bar on the top floor the tallest bar in Ireland, with some of the most spectacular views of the city you'll ever see. 2. Belfast was once nicknamed Linenopolis. In the 1800s, industry in Belfast was booming. Among shipbuilding and the production of rope and tobacco, the city paved the way in the world's linen industry. By the end of the 19th century Belfast was known as the world's linen capital and was nicknamed Linenopolis. Many of the city's linen houses were in the district now known as the Linen Quarter. 3. The symbol of Belfast is a seahorse. Pointing to the city's maritime history, the symbol of a seahorse has strong connections with Belfast. Early merchants printed the creature on their coins throughout the 17th century, and two seahorses still feature on Belfast's coat of arms. You'll also spot seahorses around the city, including the seahorse sculpture at Belfast's port and the glowing seahorse logo on the side of the lofty Grand Central Hotel. 4. Belfast is home to one of the largest optic lights ever made. The great light on Belfast's Maritime Mile has the largest lenses ever made, emitting what was one of the strongest lighthouse beams in the world. The light is over 130 years old, weighs 10 tons and is 7 meters tall. 5. Belfast has over 3,000 acres of parks. From manicured gardens like Botanic Gardens to the forested Belvoir Park and Colin Glen. The city has a huge variety of green space, making it the perfect city to take a stroll. 6. Belfast has a library that's over 200 years old. The Victorian Linen Hall Library was founded in 1788, it's the oldest library in Belfast and famous for its Irish and genealogy collections. The library's oldest book is De Anima, circa 1490, written by the Eastern physician, Avicenna, about health and well-being. It also has a first edition copy of James Joyce's Ulysses in its collection, and the first printing of the American Declaration of Independence outside of America. 7. Ballyhackamore is known as the brunch capital of Belfast. In 2018, the Sunday Times named it the brunch capital of Belfast, in an article on the best places to live in Britain. The name of this East Belfast district, Ballyhackamore, anglicized from the Irish, Bally and Chacamare, meaning townland of the slob land or mud flat. A far cry from its now upper class status, popular for trendy restaurants, bars, ice cream parlors and brunch spots. 8. Belfast is a very old city. Although there was a settlement on the site since the Bronze Age, the city we know today has its origins in the 17th century. The town of Belfast was established by Sir Arthur Chichester, with the name Belfast being an anglicization of the Irish Bale Ferrister, which roughly translates as the mouth of the sandbar. 9. We are home to one of the world's leading tourist attractions. In 2016, more than 1 million votes were cast from over 216 countries, in the awards known as, the Tourism Oscars, the Titanic Museum was crowned as the world's leading tourist attraction. Opened in 2012, the Titanic Museum, a monument to Belfast's maritime heritage, located on the site of the former Harland and Wolf shipyard in the city's vibrant Titanic Quarter, where the RMS Titanic was built, visitors can learn what life was like working at the shipyard. 10. Black Mountain is the highest peak in Belfast. At an elevation of 389 meters above sea level, visitors can enjoy a moderate, 4.2-mile circular route that leads you across open hills where you can enjoy 180-degree views across Belfast and beyond, including the Antrim Plateau, to the north, Scotland, to the east, and the Mourne Mountains, to the south. This trail takes around three hours to complete.